Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jason and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a makeover I did um, One of my favorite things about this makeover is her skin. I did this foundation mixture that I'm obsessed with So if you want to see how I created it, then stay tuned and as usual, don't forget to like comment and subscribe, okay? Alright guys, so as usual, I'm gonna start off with the Chanel Hydra Beauty Serum um, if you guys haven't tried this yet, you guys need to run over to the Chanel counter right away and buy one and you can thank me later. So it's going to hydrate and smooth the skin before you do your makeup. I use it as a primer. Next, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Vanilla Stick Eyeshadow to prime the lids. And I'm just going to blend that from lash line to brow bone. Now after that I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I'm gonna get the lightest color in white peach and just kind of go over the eyeshadow uh, stick so that way you have like a nice smooth base. Next I'm gonna go in with I believe it's called Summer Yum from the palette and I'm really just gonna go into the crease and blend that in. I'm going a little bit over the crease so that way when I put my other colors on top it just meets it. Now I'm going to go in with um, that NARS Duo eyeshadow palette. I believe this is limited edition and it's part of the newest collection. It's called Debotched. And I'm using the lightest purple and I'm applying it all over the lid. And I'm meeting it with that brown. Now the key to this smoky eye is you really have to layer and you really have to blend. So gradually add little by little and add, you know, depth. And one of the things that I always do when I'm doing a smoky eye is I always focus on the darkest part, which is going to be right there in that outer corner. And I always hit the brush there because that's where I want the darkest part to be. And then I blend it outwards. So just keep on blending that shit. I always like to take a step back and make sure that the eyes are even. Now I'm going back in with the darkest purple in the duo. And again, starting from the outer corner, I bring it in and up. Now I'm gonna do underneath the eyes with the lightest purple. Next, I'm just gonna deepen that lash line and outer corner with the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick, and this is in their black one, a black eyeshadow stick. And I'm just blending it. Again, this is all about layers and all about blending. What I love about this NARS palette too is like purples are always hard to to do on the eye. It's always hard to find a good purple because you don't want to look like you have a black eye. And what I love about this one is it just you can tell it's purple, but it doesn't look it doesn't look like a black eye. All right, guys. So this is my secret combination. I'm using the Vita Lumiere foundation from Chanel and then a Chanel LeBlanc primer. It has, the primer has like these crushed pearls in it, so it really brings luminosity to the skin. And it's just going to make it look dewy and fresh. So again, starting from the inside of the face, working my way out. Ugh. Can you already see how her skin looks? It's bomb. I really love this combination too because the heat, the Vita Lumiere is very hydrating 
and then the primer kind of gives it more of like a long lasting effect so together you kind of get like that do but airbrushed effect at the same time now i'm going in with the nars concealer i believe this is in chan chan chanterly or chantley something like that i'll write it down in the description below I like to go over it with my foundation brush so that way it blends a little bit better. And I like to just do this before I do the brows because I like the brows to be over the, the concealer. I don't like the concealer to be over the, the brow pencil. I'm just blending it. Now I'm getting a Chanel Loose Powder in Claire, and I'm just kind of doing it in the highlighting points. I'm just putting a little bit more than I normally would to kind of lightly bake the skin. And then once I've let that sit, I get a fluffy brush and I blend the loose powder out. I'm using the Chanel Le Beige Powder number 50 to kind of contour, reshape her face. I love this tone because it's not red or gold. It's like a neutral bronzing powder. Anybody can use it. It's almost like a, a shadow, a shadowing bronzer to create those shadows back into the face. So hairline, temples, cheekbone, jawline, and neck. The usual, you know. Now I'm going in with the Chanel Blush in Malice. It's more of like a peachy pe peach undertone. I love doing peaches with purple um, eyeshadows because it just complements the eyes. Now I'm getting that highlight and I'm just going on the edge of the blush down the center of the face again in my highlighting points. Cupid's bow. Now I'm doing a Chanel brow pencil in number 30. Ugh, look at how I just framed her eyes. It's amazing what brows do. Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in black. I'm rimming the whole entire waterline, top and bottom. Going in with the Bobbi Brown Pale Pink Lip Color. Now, if your eyes are always, if your eyes are dramatic, you should always do a soft lip. It's all about balance. Now I'm using House of Lashes. I'm using it in Layla. And it just kind of really adds a little bit more drama to the eye. Freaking gorgeous. It's crazy what lashes do too. So now I'm using Chanel La Volume Mascara. Another thing, like if you haven't tried that mascara, go get a sample at the counter. It's bomb. What I like about this mascara too is that it's not waterproof, but it's long lasting. 
it doesn't smudge. Now I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Baked Highlight and I'm just highlighting some more. What I love about this highlighter is that it's not so chunky. It's like super smooth. It gives like a blurring effect. So I put it on the upper lip, the chin, a little under the eye. It just makes the skin look amazing. Now Hourglass Bronzer and Luminous Bronze. Ugh. And there you go. Look at how bomb she looks. Look at her skin. Ugh. Love that mixture. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. Until next time.